All right, guys, welcome back to my YouTube video. This is the sequel to the Lake Isabella map glitch. This is how you get the Lake Isabella map. This is the easiest way to do it, the most easiest way I know to do it. Um, I don't think there's any other easy way to do it. Um, it's a 100% spawn in this area unless you get the cooldown, if you don't follow my steps correctly. It should take you under 30 minutes unless you're on PS4, which I know it takes a long time for PS4 players to load in, but I'm on PS5, so it takes me like a little bit shorter to load in. If you guys need help with this glitch, just join the Discord. Ask me or one of my admins or somebody in the Discord and they will help you. Or just comment down below and I'll try to help you as much as I can. This glitch is 100% solo. You don't need anything except for a camp and yourself. That's it. With that being said, I appreciate all the love on the last video. I appreciate the comments. appreciate the likes. I appreciate the views. So if you love this one and you want to see more, just like, subscribe, turn on notice and send it to your friends. All right, first thing you're gonna need to know is this is where your camp should spawn and then the left the left is where your camp should spawn and then the top marker is where the map actually is. This, it will spawn here 100% of the time. If it does not spawn here, then you got the cooldown. Okay, so the first thing you're actually gonna wanna do is go into your PlayStation Network settings and you wanna change your MTU to 800 to get into a solo lobby. Next, you're gonna wanna come to Blackwater and go to the spot exactly that I'm gonna point at on the map. And you wanna sit up on this hill and you wanna look towards the city. This is where you want your camp to spawn, right here. So this is the Heartlands, that's the name of the camp area. So you're going to want to go to your online app, well, go to your camp properties, go to camp and size and location, small camp and choose the Heartlands. So after you do that, you want to go to your map, you want to check if it spawned there. That's the location you want it to spawn right there. After you do that, you're going to want to go into Blackwater and you're going to want to fast travel to your camp. After you get to your camp, you're gonna wanna call your horrors and you're gonna wanna go towards the big tree that I'm going towards that has the big rocks around it. And if it's dark, you'll see the lanterns uh, shining there. But sometimes when you go to your camp, it'll, it won't spawn there. You have to get lucky for this time, for this spawn right here. Uh, but I check every time just in case, so yeah. What you're gonna wanna do now is you wanna go to online options and go to your camp and you wanna select it to spawn there.
after you spawn in your camp again, you want to call your horse and you want to go towards that tree again. Remember, it's the big tree with all the rocks around it. See, as you can see, the lantern spawned there which means that there's always gonna be a uh, treasure map there. So what you wanna do is when you grab the map, you wanna close your game as, like, as soon as you see the name, you wanna close your game. If you don't do that, you will get the cooldown. Don't turn off your land cable or whatever that will give you the cooldown. Just pick up the map and close your game. Just keep repeating the process. It should be there every time. It's 29 maps to like get all the maps. After that, you start getting money. I had to do 28 maps and my 29th map was Lake Isabella, unfortunately. It took me a long time. So if you guys enjoyed the video, just like, subscribe, turn on notice, send it to your friends. Ask for more glitches in the comments. I will look into it. I know some XP glitches, trading glitches, more glitches for you guys. Just let me know if you guys want to see it. Peace.